we're going to be making some pumpkin pie tarts, I guess you could call it. And uh, I thought, what better time to take you through my recipe for making pumpkin pie filling. Uh, I have kind of a unique way of doing it. I use ice cream, uh, so definitely stay tuned to this video to see how that uh, comes together. But we're not actually going to be using pumpkins. Today we are using our Chris is going to have to come in with this one because I don't remember what it's called. Hey, green striped Kershaw squash. Green striped Kershaw squash. This sucker here, I haven't actually weighed it, but I bet you it's about eight pounds. It's pretty heavy. We're going to get a lot of fill from this and we only need two cups, but we're going to put the rest pureed in the freezer for some pumpkin pies over the uh, winter. Without further ado, we're going to let Chris cut this sucker apart. All right, so we are doing this recipe from fresh, so to speak, squash. Uh, this is not... Uh, pre-packaged pre pumpkin puree that you know is quick and easy. So what we're doing is we're now hollowing out these and we're going to pop them into the oven and roast them. Basically first you're going to want to take out and remove all the pulpy seed parts. We've already got one half done but really it's simple just take a spoon or some type of uh, um, device <laughs> and just scrape it out like that and once you got it all done we're going to be ready to roast these in the oven. So after scraping out our uh, pulp, uh, we have saved some seeds. We ended up with 26 really, really nice, good plump seeds out of this squash. And the rest is going to be going to the chickens. We are now going to get a little bit of olive oil, kind of just spread onto these and get them into the oven to roast. It's really not any rocket science type thing. I just usually do a little trickle in there and use my hand and sort of mush it all around and down on this bit so that it doesn't stick to my pan. And it's basically that easy. Like I say, get it in the oven, roast for 45 minutes or so, basically until you can kind of poke it and uh, it comes out, you know, it's, it's soft for the, for the knife or fork to go into. But once that's done, we'll let it cool down and we'll bring it back. We're gonna put these into the oven, 375 degrees, for 45 minutes and they should be perfectly roasted by then. All right so while the squash was cooking in the oven and then cooling we've done a little bit of prep work uh, to get this all ready. Now one of the most important things to do ahead of time is okay well actually there's two important things to do. First get your pastry ready whatever your favorite pastry recipe is get that ready roll it out get it into your pie, cr uh, pie dishes uh, in this particular uh, recipe we are actually going to be making them as mini individual pumpkin pies so this is an experiment because I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work second thing that you need to make sure you've done is take out your ice cream because this needs to soften I'm actually going to set mine on the oven which is preheating here because it's getting a little bit soft, but it's not quite there yet. As you can see, it doesn't pour out. So we're gonna set that on the oven to kind of warm while we dish out our squash. Now the squash, you do need to puree this up after you uh, remove it from the uh, skin, or remove the skin from the squash, whichever way you wanna look at that. So I'm going to be using my handheld blender to do that. Sorry about the shadows, we're kind of getting to evening now and the lighting's not fantastic, but it has to be done. So, as you can see, that's soft. It collapsed in the oven. But there is our beautiful, let me get that off there, beautiful, quote, pumpkin pie fill. Green striped Kershaw squash. <laughs> the thing about this squash is it can really be subbed into any um, pumpkin recipes. So we're just gonna scoop out what we need for this. now. This particular recipe calls for one and three quarters of pumpkin uh, cups of pumpkin puree in order to make two pies. So, at this particular moment in time, I'm going to be doubling this for our uh, tarts, pumpkin tarts, we'll say. Now, you gotta be careful here. I just kinda cut through into the skin, but I'm going to bring it back. Once I've got this pureed up with our uh, handy dandy blender. All right, so everything is out here ready. We've got three and a half cups here of our pumpkin puree. Now, as I go through all this with the ingredients, even though I've doubled this, 
I'm going to list the ingredients for a single batch, which makes two pies. All right. So first thing you're going to need is three eggs. That's the first part you're going to whisk in the bowl. And then you're going to have one and a half pints of uh, vanilla ice cream, three quarters of a cup of sugar. Obviously you've got your uh, pumpkin puree, which you need one and three quarter cup. And then basically the only other thing you need is your spices. You're going to need a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of ginger and quarter of nutmeg. And basically, once you've whisked your eggs, everything else gets bunged in there. Use an electric beater, get it nice and smooth, and you're going to pour that into your shells. So while you're getting this all ready, you need to be preheating your oven to 425. But we'll bring you back once we're ready to do that stage. There has to be a review done on this green striped Kershaw squash. I think I got it right. I'm looking at Chris at the back there to make sure. This stuff is awesome. I mean, I can't recall the taste of pumpkin 100%, but I'm pretty sure that I couldn't just take a pumpkin and just cut it out and go and have it be delicious. Like This is a sweet, it's super good. I have not actually done this before with this one, even though we've been growing it for three years. I think three years. Um, definitely, thumbs up. This is going to be grown a lot more next year. All right, so we're just doing a final stir here. Our ice cream hadn't quite melted enough, but it's just about there. And all our ingredients are in. As you can see, we've got a lot of pies to make because this is a lot of pie fill. But that's as simple as it is. Just blend the ingredients all together. And then we're just going to carefully, hopefully, ladle them into our tarts. Three quarters full. Oops, I got a little over full. <clears throat> oh well. Three quarters on is what you want. And then 425 for 15 minutes. And then we turn it down to 375 for another 30 minutes after that. Now I'm going to have to watch these very carefully because that is for a full 9 inch pie. Uh, I think these tarts are probably going to cook a little bit quicker than that. So um, I'll put what I ended up with at the end. I'll write it in the dis... Oh! Oven's up to temperature and it sings such a pretty song. Don't you love our new oven? I'm so excited about my new oven. It's been very wonderful. Especially the bread rising button. It's been really nice. But we're going to bring you back when these are all cooked up and we will tell you how it turned out. So here is the first batch of green striped Kershaw squash tarts out of the oven. So these have to cool then we'll pop them out and uh, get on to round two. Second batch is done. I just took it out of the oven, so we're going to uh, see what it looks like and uh, kind of just go over a few little things because this recipe was originally for uh, pie filling, but for the tarts, uh, the cooking time and, and such is a little different. So there's round two. They're just out of the oven. Still too hot to uh, come out, so I'll give them a second. But the first round is over here and uh, cooling nicely. We have resisted the temptation to try one yet but uh, we know this is a good recipe. We've just never done it in the tart form before. We found for the tarts because they're just smaller you want it to be around the 10 minute mark at 425 and then around 20 minutes at 350. Now that's basically what we did here and it worked quite well. So there it is. There you have it. This could be any kind of holiday treat recipe or just uh, another good way to use some uh, squash and pumpkins.